Hello and welcome to Encryption, the tech tips and tutorials channel. In this video, I am going to teach you how to reset the .pem file of an EC2 instance with near zero downtime. So let's get started. Basically, there are two ways to reset the .pem file of an EC2 instance. The one way is by creating a new instance, stopping the old instance, detaching the old instance volume, attaching the volume of the old instance to the new instance and then detaching the old volume which was created at the time of creating the new instance. This way requires the downtime of the application or services running on the current instance. That may be your production server and anything like that. Comparatively, this way of resetting the .pem file is quicker than the other way but it requires downtime which is something not liked by anyone. The other way is what we are going to learn in this video which requires no downtime or nearly zero downtime. But it is always good to know both ways as they might be useful case by case. Please refer to my video guide to learn the first way with the link in the description. Now without further ado, let's jump into the practical session of the other way of resetting the .pem file of an EC2 instance. Log in to the AWS management console. Identify the EC2 instance which you are going to reset the key file of. Check the IP address and the key file name which is used to log into the EC2 instance via the SSH. In my case, this is the public IP address of the server and this is the key file name. For this video, I assume that I have lost this key file which is associated with this EC2 instance. Also, I assume that this is a production server on which a Node.js application is running because if I enter the IP address on the browser's URL bar with colon port number 3000 and hit enter, we can see the response from the application. If I check for the key file on my system here, I don't find it. Also, I want to show you what response I get from the server when I try to log in uh, to it using the connection command as displayed here on the SSS client section. As you can see, there is a warning. Identity file my-demo-kpr.pem not accessible. No such file or directory. So there is no way I can access the server at this point except resetting the key file. To reset the key file of an instance, select it, click on actions, click on image and templates and click on create image. With these steps, we are creating a new image of this instance using which we will create a new institute instance. This is something like cloning the instance. Give a name to the image, write a description if you want to but it's optional. Although tagging is also optional, I want to give a tag with name as the key and node.js new server with the value and then click on the create image button. Okay, the AMI or the image of the running instance is being created. Let's go to the AMI section and check the status. It may take time to complete the AMI creation process depending on the size of the EC2 instance or the size of the volume. If the volume is very large in size, it may take hours but if it is small it will take only a few minutes so wait until then and keep checking the status by pressing this reload button okay now its status is available next you should make sure that you have chosen the correct ami and click on this launch instance from ami button here you can give the name of the instance that is going to be created using this ami Before moving forward, hold on, check the instance type of the currently running instance and select the one exactly matching with that. As we have already lost the key pair file, click on create new key pair. Type is RSA, the format is .pem and click on create key pair button. Oops, I forgot to give a name to the new key pair file. I give it a name as node.js instance and click on the create key pair button. Choose the location to store the key file. For now, I choose the home directory of my system. But it is always recommended that you keep it in a safe location that is not deleted or cleaned up in a timely manner and is secure from general access. Then click on the save button. For the security group, I choose my existing security group which is default. 
However, you can create a new one and configure what to allow or what not to. In the configure storage section, you are suggested to select the storage size exactly the same as currently running, which is usually fixed here by default. Finally, click on the launch instance button. Okay, the new instance is created successfully and is in an initializing state. Scroll down a bit and click on the view all instances button. Now you should wait until the instance state is changed to running and the status check to pass. Wait a few minutes and press the reload button. In the meantime, let's head over to the terminal and check for the key file. The key file name node.js instance.pem is there, but the permission is too loose, so we may be restricted to log into the server using this key. Let's tighten it by running the command sudo space csmod space 400 and the key file name. Then copy the connection command from the SSS client section here and paste it on the terminal. Type s and hit enter. It's again restricted to login because we are trying to log in as root but we should use the normal user to remotely log into the EC2 instance. So let's replace the root to Ubuntu and try to connect. Here we go. We are now logged into the server. Quickly, uh, I check the application's root directory for the application code. It seems everything is coming through. Also check the status of the node app service. It's not running. Maybe due to uh, that it was not enabled to start at boot on the previous server. So I enable it. Start it. And recheck the status. Now it's loaded, active and running. Next I want to check with the IP if the application is running or not. Yeah, it's running. Finally, we need to point the Elastic IP because the new server's IP now is different from the Elastic IP and the Elastic IP is usually pointed to the domain name in the production environment. So we need to change the current IP to the Elastic IP to the new server. For your information, Elastic IP is like a static IP which does not change even if you reboot your server. But the dynamic IP which is auto assigned to the EC2 instance is usually changed when you stop and start the instance again. So on the left menu bar under the network and security section, click on the elastic IPs. I have only one elastic IP now. One elastic IP per EC2 instance is absolutely free. Currently this elastic IP is associated with the old instance. So I need to disassociate this IP from the old instance and associate it to new. To disassociate the elastic IP, click on the actions. Click on the disassociate elastic IP address and click on the disassociate button. Now the elastic IP is disassociated with the old instance. Uh, let's uh, associate it with the new instance. For this as well, select the elastic IP which you want to associate. Click on the actions drop down. Click on associate elastic IP. Click on the box under the instance, select the new instance and click on the associate button. Ok, the elastic IP is now associated with the new instance. Now the application will not respond with the IP address 18.212.57.231 but will respond by 44.215.29.136 because the new server is associated with the IP. 44.215.29.136 If we reload the page, we can see the server is responding with the content in the index page on the project folder of the application. To test it further, let's hover to the AWS Management Console, click on the instances and stop the old instance. As you can see, the old instance is in the stopping state. But reloading the page, we get the page still loading. After clicking the reload button a couple of times, 
the instance state is now changed to stopped state. But reloading the app in the browser, it works without any issue. This proves that resetting the .pm or key file doesn't affect the production app in any way if we follow the steps correctly as we have done so far. Okay friends, this is how we can reset the .pm file or the key of an EC2 instance without any downtime or near zero downtime. I hope the video was useful to you. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. See you in other videos. Till then, have a nice time. Goodbye.